Today we're going to go meet the say. He's a good graffiti artist. He's got some huge pieces around this room. All right, today we're here with Zase. He's going to tell us a little bit about his work, how he got started. Uh, he's a Bristol graffiti artist. Uh, you can see his pieces around Bristol. Um, they're stunning pieces of work. So yeah, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Zase. All right, yeah. So my name is Andy, aka Zase. Mm. I'm originally born from Slovakia. I moved to Bristol about seven years ago, and I loved it. <laughs> yeah. What 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 brought you to Bristol? What made you think that's the place? Well, the Bristol. Before I moved to Bristol, I used to live in Switzerland, <laughs> where I used to work as a graffiti artist too, as a professional. Yeah. But the time comes and I had to change. Like, want some something different, different country. Want to get better with my English. Different so experience, yeah, experience. Yeah. So just a friend of mine went to me to over, and I came here, and I just love it, man. Okay. All right. So where can we find your work um, displayed around Bristol? Where can someone that go who's watching this video and thinks, yeah, I want, I want to see a piece of this guy? Where can they go? Well, I've got a couple of pieces on the Gloucester roads, but the most known is probably on the Eastern Roundabout, not Eastern, Eastville Roundabout. Yeah. But it's just go like, yeah, and... It's, it's like under that underpass, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's on the roundabout and it's like old woman, like right in the turtle. Yeah. On the underwater landscape. Definitely. Alright, so what inspires you to create your pieces? Because you say, um, as you said, it was an underwater thing. What inspired that? What made you think, I want to go with that theme and create that? Well, I went recently, before before I do this piece, I went to Bristol Aquarium and that's what pretty yeah. much inspired me. It's surroundings what inspired me, inspired me, my family inspires me, like things what I like pretty much, what I see. So yeah. that's what I do. I'm always doing, try to, most of the time, doing my 3D lettering, which yeah. I'm most known about it. It's Zasse. Yeah. But always in trying different form, different shapes, and different atmospheres. So, so it's like this time I went just for the underwater yeah. film, innit? So it's just your environment, what you what see around yeah, you, yeah, and it just comes up. It's great, alright. So, um, when did you actually start? When did you start doing this graffiti work? Well, I was in back in the 96. Yeah. In Sorak, yeah. The graffiti didn't exist practically in my country. And a friend of mine, he just came back from from Germany and he seen the graffiti there and he brought it to our country yeah and first time I seen it I loved it into it straight away I just knew yeah what was this, the piece, this is yeah. what was the piece like his name is seen? Nomad he's still yeah. painting he's like old school guy yeah it's proper old school what, what did it look like that piece that first piece in your memory well the thing is the, this guy he's been painting for I don't know 15 years before not graffiti yeah. but something else so he had skills already good and when he brought the graffiti to the our town yeah he put it on the high level straight away. Even yeah. it was 96, but the level was high straight yeah. already. So that's what makes me to push it more <laughs> harder and like go through it. And okay. I loved it. Yeah. So what um, mediums you use? Because we've got these two pieces behind us. Um, yeah, these ones stood out for me. I mean, you've got this texture sound effect here, um, and, and and this glowing woman. What 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 is the technique? How well, do you create that? Canvas is what I'm doing or yeah. outside anywhere. I'm using free hands. Spray can technique, which is using a spray can yeah. and freehand. I'm using any any rulers or so. What what what's this one called? And stuff. What what is what's it called? This what it's called? called? Well, this is just my name. It's, yeah. You can see here is Z. Yeah. Here is A. Here is S. That's that's it. And it's pretty hard to do them on this size because mm. with the spray can you have always the limits and you just have to think more and yeah. write layering because the is that we don't want any drips or anything. Yeah. yeah. When when you're doing it on a smaller piece, does it spray wide? Is it like a, a wide? You spray? have always different caps as well. Yeah. But you still have the limits. You know how far you can go. Okay. But I'm always trying to push the limit to the to the max. And then you've got the sand effect. This is slightly different, isn't it? Yeah, I wanted to do, try some out. try something different. I like to experiment in and using and recycling and stuff. And this time I want to give it more texture, more diff, like three D, make it. And I feel like. I don't know, the sound could be quite cool. I've tried it and yeah. it works. <laughs> what was your how's how's your response been when people have seen just seen this new new way of doing it, this texture? People like it, yeah. People yeah. like it. They were a little bit like what's going on there. Yeah. Uh, right. Still good response. Okay. Um so what what do you like about Bristol then? 
Bristol, so far, your yeah. time here. <laughs> <laughs> Bristol, I love Bristol. It's so diverse city. Like yeah. if it comes to the music, to the arts, to anything, so people love it here. It's people, peaceful, yeah, powerful cities. That's what I love about it. Right. So you can see lots of good artists, mm. even in music or even in graffiti or any kind of art. Yeah, it's just crazy. There's no any other city like this. Exactly. I mean, you've had yeah, you you, you yeah, definitely. Okay, so your name, as I say, tell yeah. us about that. What, 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 how is it? Yeah, it's a little bit funny story, yeah. yeah. Back in the 97, mm. I went to paint, I was still a young kid, and I've been called by the police, yeah. unfortunately, twice a day. Yeah. I said, like, oh gosh, you know, man. Again, so yeah. since then, it's as I say, as I say, means again. In Slovak language. They repeat so it's bad luck, like everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Is that for graffiti? Were you dodging for your graffiti work? When I was starting <laughs> yeah. it back in the days, we didn't have any legal yeah. sports or anything. So all what you can do is just take your car and go to the streets and, pay yeah. and try what you, what you can. But yeah. I didn't have any knowledge how to do the, the illegal stuff. Yeah. So I just tried it at 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, went outside and painted. And <laughs> obviously I've been cold. So. <laughs> right, great. Um, uh, so on the internet, where can we where can we look for your work? Well, um, what, you can have website? a look on my website, which is www.zasedesign.com, yeah. or you can have a look on my Facebook, Zase Design, or yeah. pretty much any social media where you have type in Zase Design, you can see okay. most of my stuff. All right, and Zase, you're going to be joining us for the Movement Art Exhibition, yeah, and that's going to be coming up um, April the tenth. I'm going to see me some of his pieces there, so if you want to get down to that, you can. It's going to be in the galleries, um, Central with the Bristol Shopping Centre. All right. Yeah, let's get forward. See you then. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. Bless you.